All right, we're going to be testing the sound here and just seeing if this is um, able to be heard. Testing the sound here and just seeing if this is um, able to be heard.
Hello, testing. 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 All right, we're going to try to correct the sound and it's still not working right. So we'll work on that right now. There we go, I think. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. That works with that. Testing one, two, three. All right, our 
guess um, the sound isn't working 100%, but we can see if we can use the sound that's on the phone. Let's just check one more time. bear with it, we will have a summary of the stream probably further down. So, All right. want to go ahead and welcome you to the live stream here today. And this is the Biohacker PT coming to you live from the kitchen. Coming to you from Canita's Vegan Kitchen. All right, that's where we're at right now, and we're going to uh, see if we can get involved with a little bit of nutrition. All right, nutrition is very helpful for us in this day and age, and uh, we want to make sure that we are um, eating well now. Um, I'm going to see if I can find this uh, recipe online. If not, then we will check in another spot, uh, maybe on my Kindle. And this recipe is the Plant Paradox recipe. And let me see if I can find that. All right. So let me just turn that off just for a moment. And we will come back to that in a minute. There we go. So let me just search for that online. Let's see if I even have that app on this phone. If not, we will find it on another. Uh, Kindle, Kindle, Kindle. Okay. Kindle app, Kindle app. All right, I don't see that app on the phone, but maybe I can search it online. We will see if we can do that. And again, let's go to the plant paradox. And that is the um, burger. Let's just go with that. See what shows up. All right, there we go. That might be what we're looking for here. This is creativeinmykitchen.com. And a look at that. I don't know if you're ready for that, but maybe you are. <laughs> uh, one moment.
All right, so the recipe for this, it says here, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. I can barely see that on this screen. You'll have to go to your uh, desktop if you're just on a cell phone. Good luck with that. But it says this plant paradox burger is really good. The best to me, at least until I find a better way to make it. All right, these uh, burger patties can be vegan or not, but even so, I still follow the plant paradox guidelines for reducing animal protein because 90% of these patties are made of lectin free plant based ingredients it's also super low carb because the bun is a portobello mushroom how do you put that together you can look at that here's the patty it's going to be used using walnuts okay so let's let's start with that all right so we can have some organic walnuts, we can choose that. And sometimes if you wanna uh, use um, activated walnuts, you can soak that for eight to 12 hours, and then you put it in a dehydrator or an oven at uh, about 105 degrees. And you can go to 120 if you wanted to, 119, 120. Um, and then you can do that for 24 hours or less if you have a higher temperature. Again, you have to be careful with the uh, enzyme uh, reduction uh, as you have higher temperatures, right? So, um, now we're not making the bun. Uh, I use actually, for this, I use uh, some buns and they're actually online. You can go to, um, I would say, uh, what is it now? Um, it is YouTube. Um, no, it's on Amazon. And you can get vegan paleo um, and I believe keto and vegan burgers. And uh, that's what I get. And sometimes that's um, a good choice. And you just put it in the refrigerator and you... Um, you can actually put it in the freezer and when you take it out, you can just put it on, you know, uh, a little container here and you just place it in the refrigerator, okay? Now, um, the next would be, uh, let's see here, hold on. Let's just look and see. Okay, we'll just do that, oops. All right, so, okay. Now, I'm just checking one more thing. All right. That always says that I have a viewer, but... Uh, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go forward here. The bread mix, we could use different kinds of grains now, um, let's see here. Now the, all kinds of different grains. I'm not promoting any of these. Uh, I'm not getting any um, commission off any of these, but I'll probably just cover the, the brand name but this one is uh, grain-free paleo flour. Now, what's nice with that, if you see the ingredients, I don't know if you see that real small there in the small print, but there is almond flour, uh, arrowroot, starch, organic coconut flour, and tapioca flour. So if you have this, you can save some money by not buying that directly. Uh, I mean, this directly, you can just go ahead and get it via putting some of these together. All right, so I got some almond flour in the freezer and I'll be probably revving that up later. Uh, arrowroot, I believe, arrowroot, here it is. Um, other one is coconut flour. I also have that on the shelf somewhere. Okay, coconut flour.
So here is some uh, organic coconut flour. And that's another one that we have. And I think the other one was almond flour. So let me just go grab the almond flour in the freezer. So in the freezer we go. Let's see if we can flip this around. Uh, and uh, looking at the wall there. So let's look at this vegan man's uh, freezer. Wow, my goodness. All right, so we won't look at some of those there, but I'm um, looking for okay, the buns that I have. All right, here are the buns that I have right here. They are keto vegan paleo buns, and um, you can kind of see them on the side there. Now, I'm looking for the almond flour, and good luck with that. Okay, here we go. Uh, not sure. I'm going to be successful finding the almond flour in this sea of frozen items here. Oh my. So, um, I feel like Oscar the Grouch with the Sesame Street aficionado. There we go. Okay, so this one here is probably Costco version, but uh, nonetheless. Uh, and everyone knows it's Kirkland, so we'll probably go with that. Um, so much for the bag. We will. Um, there we go. All right. So I guess you could you can freeze a few of those different kinds. This is almond flour. And um, let me see if I can flip the screen and get me back on there. Here's my uh, son's bike that I still use now and then. And oh my, look at that. That's like looks nice, doesn't it? Inviting. All right, there's the blue light. We'll turn that off. And, all right. Okay, let's see where we are now. Oh, I wish this microphone worked, but we'll get it working next time. So, we've got the almond flour. It's still frozen. We've got uh, arrowroot, starch, coconut, uh, flour and uh, tapioca flour. Tapioca flour is this cassava flour. All right, and how do we know that? Well, we can read this as cassava, but this is what we use for the tapioca. Ooh, it's leaking already. So, those are the flours that we use for that one. And then there's another one. Oh, I don't know if we have it. Ah, we're missing it. Now there's another one that we do, and I don't know where I put it. So, hmm. That's an excellent choice here, but I think we'll go with that. Now, if you use too much almond flour, you're gonna have some big problems with that because it's gonna be just, um, for the empanada, it's gonna be very, very, uh, limited. Now, this is when I'm using the empanada. Now, we talked about the buns, and that's if I make the patty. But if I make ground it up, we put it in the empanada, and we make our own. Now, with the empanada, we also use, uh, for those of you who can do the grains, we do have rice flour, and I don't know where I put the rice flour. Hmm. All right, so looks like we might be missing some ingredients. So, I think we'll just go with what we can do. <laughs> okay, hold on.
All right. So we are missing some flour. And it's the one that has some rice flour. So we'll have to see if we can substitute some rice flour here. Good boy. Now in the freezer I have a okay so I'm gonna get I gotta get this a little bit out of I'm tired of looking at my chin. Alright, here we go. So oh that's so much better. There we go. So this is some homemade rice flour. And I believe this is some homemade soy flour. They're frozen right now, so we might not be able to use that unless we defrost them somehow. So we've got a couple of those, so that might help with the consistency of the, of the, of the, the dough, the, the bread. And I'm not sure what this is. I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, this is the mystery flour. <laughs> mystery flour, number whatever mystery flower. Okay, so, um, So in the mo in a moment, I'll be donning the wonderful apron. All right, now this is an interesting apron. Uh, this is an interesting apron. Yeah, the, the hat's actually interesting too, but the interesting part of this apron is, well, we won't talk about that yet, but later on we will reveal the secret. We will reveal the secret. Okay, so now... Let's see if we can move forward here. Let's get to the burger part. Now here it says the prep time is 40 minutes. So I don't know if my battery is going to last that long. But now we can, we, we're going to probably triple the, uh, at least double, we're going to probably double the ingredients so everything that you're seeing here, we're going to be doubling. So it says on here, uh, one cup, one cup of walnuts, and one cup of grass-fed beef for the meat version. Or we can just do two cups of walnuts. So wow, that's four cups of walnuts. So are we going to have four cups of walnuts with uh, with mom's walnuts? Yes. We'll see if we can do that. So, the handy dandy items for the hour. Okay, here we go. So, again, for those of you who are joining, this is Kanita's Vegan Kitchen, and we are excited to come to you again live on a afternoon for this Friday. No, no, Sunday. <laughs> okay. So, it'd be nice if it was Friday, then um, I'd be off work, which I might still be off work coming up in the next uh, few months. We'll have to see how that goes, if you know what I mean. All right, so I live in California. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and put the two cups of walnuts in here. Uh, we're going to probably put four cups of walnuts. That's good. And we'll go for another round here. Now, food preparation for vegan is kind of time-consuming, but if you think about if you use the same items for your meat versions, well, you're just in the kitchen long, however you're cooking. All right, so here we go now for the next one. It says two cups of cubed red beet. Okay, so I don't know if we have four cups worth. Um, we do have some... Uh, Homegrown beets here. You see that? 
homegrown beets, and this is uh, going to be yummy for my tummy. Now, we've got three of them, and I don't know if three of them is going to make four cups, but I certainly would try. Now, the cook or the chef, she's going to be arriving here shortly, but uh, I'm doing the prep stages here, and we're just getting the ingredients together, which uh, hopefully we can sort of... Another one here is a, a half a cup to a cup of onions. I like the onions, so we've got the red onions. Gundry is big on the red onions, so we're going to get that out. Red onions. All right, so maybe you can join me in this uh, quest to find the red onions. Uh, let's see if we can uh, look here for that. Uh, let's see here. This is the section called the produce section, and there is produce in here, yes. Okay, so red onion is not going to be here. It's going to be not in the refrigerator. Sorry for the shift of scenery here. I'm still looking for the red onion. Oh, here. You go. Oh, look at that. There's the, the red. Uh, is that going to be a cup of onions there? Sure, sure it is. Oops. All right. So now, let's see if I can uh, get back to even Steven for the screen. And here we go again. Oh my, it's a dizzy, a dizzying, a harrowing style here. All right, so we are on Twitch, uh, on uh, YouTube, and we are also on Facebook, personal, personal profile. So for those of you on Facebook, um, this will be uh, still on the other channels temporarily. So um, feel free to comment if you'd like to, but just remember it is... Um, public domain when it comes to your comments so if you're commenting about my hat or my wrinkled chin from the last time you ever seen me in video because I always do my shielded face in the uh, videos for music well you know what I mean you don't see me so there's the red onion so we've got the red onion out oh my we're going slow and we gotta get two big cloves of garlic. Where that at? Okay, here we go. So are we here with the gar oh no, nope. these are shallots. Okay, so garlic. Oh my. Okay, here. Alright, so here is the garlic. We've got two cloves. We'll go for four cloves. Alright, now we need this we we should have this, but um Maybe later we'll, we'll use the tripod and you can look down and you can see all the wonderful ingredients that I have. Uh, maybe there's a little bit on, I'll just uh, sit on a stool. Maybe that's what I'll do. And that might be just as good. So let me get my stool. Which might be good in the meantime. Now as I... As you look down, you can't really see it, but uh, on the ground here, as long as the, uh, the, the, the floor is, is clean, um, if you look down, I don't know if you can look down with this camera here, but, uh, okay, so here it is. This is my grounded mat. All right, so grounded mat, what does that mean? It's plugged into the wall, well, well, it was plugged in the wall. Uh, let's see here. We're just going to unplug the air fryer and plug in the ground for that floor mat. So what does that mean? That's uh, maybe on another stream, but you need to have energy from the earth. And you can't get it outside unless you're barefooted. But if you're inside, you can use a grounding mat. And that's what I use. And that's very good for inflammation for those of you interested in anti-inflammatory processes. All right, so here is... Uh, I believe it's a clove only. We need to have, um, we need to have a different view here. So, again, I'm getting down low. <laughs> All right. So we've got here snickerdoodle. <laughs> oh, 
So uh, this here, now there's also black garlic, garlic, uh, black garlic's interesting too. I haven't read too much about that. So we're gonna pick uh, several cloves here. We've got one, two, uh, so far. And what did it say here? It said uh, two big cloves. So that's two big cloves. So we're going with, again, double the fun here with four cloves. Look at that, four wonderful cloves. All right, so what's next here? Two heapings of chopped mushrooms. Two heaping cups. Now, I'm not sure the technical with heaping, but a, a scant or whatever that's, um, well, not scant, it's the other word, it's like just short of. All right, maybe you can help me on the channel on that. But, now, this is Mushroom, mushroom, oh, here, here's the mushrooms. Okay, and again, we're not showing you the brand name, but this is the mushrooms we're going to be using. So, um, and they are, they are just mushrooms, okay? And they're from Canada, so uh, hopefully they didn't spray Roundup on here, because I don't care for Roundup very much. All right, so here we go. Glyphosate, if you wanted to know what that is, you can you know, look that up yourself. Right. Now, here we go. Here is the mushrooms. Look at these. They are looking wonderful. Wonderful. All right, here we go. So, now it's not chopped up yet, so we'll have to do that. And we'll probably ask the cook to do that in a moment. Uh, let's see here. A fresh of oh, basil. Where is our basil? Okay, so we do have a mixture of basil. So... We need to have um, a bunch. Uh, I don't know what it, we're supposed to have a little, what, what's the word? A bunch. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll take that. Uh, let's see here, the next one is a bunch of fresh parsley or dry, well, okay, so we do have dried parsley. Uh, this is exciting parsley, here we are in a moment. So parsley. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so par parsley. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, to do. Okay, here's the mushrooms. We'll have that that's visual there. That's nice. And uh, parsley. So we've got parsley here, and we got several versions of parsley. So we might not have enough uh, just with that. But uh, yeah, here we go. We got double parsley here. Um, we have that parsley. So parsley is good. So let, you know, um, let's go ahead and have our little spice rack for that. So we're gonna have a little spice rack for, for the parsley here in a moment, but uh, it says here, oh, where is it now? We are um, two tablespoons. So maybe we can accomplish something here by doing the uh, parsley, par parsley here. Two tablespoons. So two would be two times two is four. So we'll go with four. Four tablespoons of dried parsley. So now I don't know the uh, health benefits of parsley off the top of my head. My favorite website um, is gone because of conspiracy theory stuff that he puts on there. So um, right now I'm on my own with parsley. I have to go to Healthline. And Healthline's all commercialized and uh, has some science to it, so you can enjoy uh, that if you'd like to, looking up what parsley is. And you can put that in the chat if you so are interested um, in parsley. You can kind of tell me what parsley is about. All right. So, there we go. That's four tablespoons. Uh, did I say tablespoons? All right. Tablespoons. Now, we've got also some paprika. Oh, I don't know if I should put paprika together now. Now, um, I do have a cheat, and I will do that here in a moment. Hold on. Uh, maybe you can join me. All right, maybe you can enjoy me. Not enjoy me, but uh, join me. So here we go in our wonderful, let's see here. Okay, here is the mystery box. What is in this mystery box? Uh -huh, da -da. Okay, so a little bit of book factor. Okay, so we won't look at too many of those because uh, 
those might be controversial, but here we are, we're going for this one. All right, the plant paradox, so we are good for that. All right, so, now this book has been revolutionary for me, very, very much. It's like, okay, I'm vegetarian, I, let's go ahead and go with that. I eat some, you know, this and that, but um, lectins, you know, butyrate and all that is very interesting. So I wanted to go ahead and, and uh, discuss that. Uh, and another, so, I'm not trying to plug in old Gundry, because Gundry is kind of, uh, uh, I guess he has his own ideas. And he's got this other book now called The Longevity Pro uh, Paradox. So, you know, if you think that animals have feelings, well, plants have feelings, and the seeds have feelings, and the seeds are angry when you eat them, so, um, and the plants uh, are angry too, and then they, when you get their fruit, they're going to be angry at you, so we don't want to, you know, cause some angry in the, in the plant kingdom, all right, so, because we're eating plants, and sorry about that, plants, but we are trying to eat you, so we try to defeat the plants by using other things, like over in here in the corners, uh, I'll call it a pressure cooker pot, and um, there we go. So we are going to cheat here and look at Gundry's and see where we are because I don't. I, don't, I want to be mixing these as we as we move along. And if I'm lucky, we will have success. Uh, success somewhere here. Now sooner or later, Mom's going to get on Facebook and says, "Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make some comments here, and uh, please." Uh, comment also as well. Now, here we go. Oh my goodness, here's some wonderful stuff on here. So I'm looking for the um, Nutty Juicy Shroom Burger, protein style. All right, so we're going, if you are, are uh, a Gundry fan, you can turn to your Gundry book on your tablet if you want to at page 344. All right, looks like we are going to be doing a sing along here. Now, the air here is stagnant, so I don't know if we can improve that or not, but uh, it will be quickly uh, getting a little bit more hotter as the day afternoon is. Where we're going to be 105 in, in, in near town here, we are in southern or central California, and one of the most polluted areas, but yet one of the most uh, uh, environmentally conscious people. Does that make sense to you? No, it does not make sense to me. All right, so this one serves four. We're going to serve eight. We're going to go ahead and trip double this. And uh, this one says 25 minutes. Look at that. So creative style kitchen or whatever. Um, he's got you beat by whatever, 15 minutes. Okay, so here we go. Um, how are we going to mix this? Okay, so it says here, transfer this mixture to the mixing bowl and stir in the basil. So the basil is separate. Um, let's see, so now what we put all together is, uh, there is the, okay, so the dry parsley is together. So, okay, so, okay, so we got the dry, where's that? Where's the dry parsley, where did we go with that? Uh, here it is. So we got the dry parsley, we've got four tablespoons of that, and um, let's go with, what's next? Hmm, all right. So we've got, okay, so you're on my screen here, right? And the paprika, is the paprika together? Yes, it is, ah, success. So uh, we need a bookmarker. So we're gonna use my um, bookmark over here. A while ago, where is it? There it is. Okay, so I got this from a Dave Asprey box, and it says, this, I don't think this is dealing with like pornography, but it's talking about fear porn. So, hashtag fear porn, and I think you understand what that means in our day and age. We're freaking out over small things. Uh, yes, there are dangers, correct but we need to face it with no fear, right? All right, so that's what that is. So that's gonna be my bookmark for Gundry. 
All right, so the paprika, how much paprika do we need for this? Uh, let's see, paprika, hmm. We're back to a, t a teaspoon, right? You, you got over there a teaspoon of Hungarian. I don't know if it's Hungarian. I don't know why we have to have Hungarian teaspoon. Okay, look, we got to get the mushrooms in here. I got to get the, get, the, get the mushrooms and the onion. We got the onion here as well. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and come down this a little bit more for those. Uh, that's it. Well, oh well. Okay, so that's the lowest we can go. So we've got to use the tripod later. And we will maybe do that here shortly. Okay, so we got things going on. We got the onion here. So we got the tablespoon of paprika. Where is the paprika? Uh, so we've got paprika. Okay, so freak out mode. Do we have paprika? Oh, come on. Oh, here it is. Aha! This, there's smoked paprika too. I think this is just regular paprika. Ooh, we got even double versions. So we got a teaspoon. We're gonna get it two teaspoons of paprika. This is just so exciting. Uh, here we go. So we're gonna go with the, we're gonna go with the paprika now. We're gonna okay. So we're gonna put this here together with this. I don't know if you can see that or not. We're gonna put that together here. Okay. So all right. So here is our um, not oregano. It is our um, parsley. Okay, so this is the paprika, a teaspoon. So we're gonna do not just one teaspoon, but double portion, so that'll be two. One plus one is two, yes. Here it is, one. And we can't mess up now, because that's gonna be hard to take um, apart if we do add that. So here we go, number two, okay. So now what would be good in a real good cooking demo is everything set aside, but. This is not a real cooking demo. This is just live at home on Twitch, which could go on forever more, if you know what I mean. All right, so the next one is salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, okay. So um, it doesn't say how much salt and pepper, but we will again uh, mess up our book here. So that is, okay, so here it says, uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of uh, salt. So a fourth and a fourth is a half. Okay, for those who are the younger viewers, um, you can enjoy the addition. And we're looking for something here. Salt, sea salt. I don't want to taste that. Um, yeah, I do. All right, so, and then, Nothing special, this is just sea salt, and uh, we just want it uh, finely granulated. So as we do this, we're gonna get a, have a, um, it said a fourth, so a fourth, a fourth is a half, so here we go with a half a teaspoon of salt. Right. Now it might be more salt later, but all right, so if you are a salt fan, that looks like good. Now, I'm going to have to look at this again. All right, here we go. So, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Oop, there it is. So, the next would be uh, a half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, pepper. Now, it's hot in here. All right, so let me just get the air blowing here. Uh, Should be drinking some more water. Oh, we lost our connection. Hold on. There we go. All right, let's get this plug in. Might crash. <clears throat> I need a mister. I need something for my head here in a minute. If not, hurry up. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got the solar fan going, and we've got 
the head scarf. His head scarf. Head scarfy. Head scarfy. Head scarfy. Head scarfy. Head scarf. Head scarf. Head scarf. Head scarf. Head scarf. So maybe I shouldn't call it a head scarf. Uh, now where's the hand go? Okay, here we go again. Sorry for that obtuse angulation. Ah, look at that. That might have helped because now we're not zoomed. So, now, we've got the salt. We're going for the pepper now. Where, where is the pepper? So, here we go. This will be successful three hours later. So we're going with the pepper. We're going for some black pepper. Um, now, oh boy, look at that. So I think the reason why that's doing that is the battery is dying, yes. So, let me see if I can fix that. Let's see. Now I might do that again. Let's see if I can find this here and go with constant charging with whatever left we've got. If not, we'll go for the tripod mode. Ah, look at that. Now, I don't know if I can do that. Because it's charging. Okay, so maybe if I'm off here first. Alright, so once I plug this in, it might die again, so we might go to tripod mode. There we go. Alright, so it looks like we might be successful with that, I don't know. We'll try. Okay, so bear with it, it looks like it's on the verge of dying again. So pepper, we're still with the pepper, oh my. So here we are with pepper. Let's see here. Go on with the... Uh, Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Oh my, here we go. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now join me again for another stream when it's not going to be so long, but uh, this one here is the black pepper. So next would be um, 
cassava flour. Now we're not gonna put cassava flour in there. All right, so. Okay. Now, let's see where we are with Gundry again, 344. Maybe on the next page already. So walnuts, mushrooms, beet, garlic, half a cup of onion, uh, uh, yeah, half a cup of onions, paprika, dry parsley, salt, pepper, food processor. Ay, ay, ay. So um, we probably need to now do, and I might separate that and just put little by little and different, different items together. So um, let's call in the forces for the big chopping. All right, so we need again, uh, what was it? We needed it. Okay, we're ready. So we've got the, the walnuts, I'm gonna start doing that one. And then we've got the uh, beets. So we're gonna have the chopper over here, which you can't see very well, because we've got the um, towel rack in the way. Continue on our journey with making this more efficient. Okay, there's a lot of stuff over here, so um, including our water. Okay, so on on this in this corner, we will have. Oh, okay. What we're we gonna have? We're gonna have. We're gonna have the beets going on right here. Okay, so this section here is the beet and mushroom chopping section. All right, beet and mushroom chopping section. All right, here it goes. So, all right, so our helper's not here yet. So let us choose the cutting board of choice. Okay, this is the cutting board of choice here which is our handy dandy style cutting board. All right, so we're going with the beats. Where did the beats go? Beats, where are you? We were showing them off with gusto a while ago. Here they are. All right, so the beats. All right, let's wash the hands, find a little. Twenty seconds. I do a whole minute usually. Yeah. So again, let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm going to fashion this somewhere here in the background. Uh, I like that. Okay. So the beats. Cutting beets. So we're gonna go ahead and chop the beets. Alright, so good luck with my clothes, right? Alright, so we're gonna get, get down low and we're gonna see it says chop. Now it's going in the it's going in the food processor 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 processor. So um, I'm not quite sure how to how to do this. <laughs> but we need to measure it out that we get cubed beets. And I think it was how many? It was supposed to be uh, two cups. We're going for four cups. So here we go. No gloves for daddy. All right. So the thing is, the beets, let's talk about beets. Okay, so I'm going off the top of my head now, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the beets are high in nitric oxide, okay? Now, where, when do you not want nitric oxide? Nitrates, okay, you hear about that. You don't want that in your bologna and all that salami and you don't want that, right? So, in real time, in, in, in the vegetable kingdom, because of the vitamin C, yes, vitamin C um, this is wonderful for your oxidative stress. We've heard about that. If you haven't, then you can read on and on about that in, I would say, 
Uh, PubMed. PubMed is the wonderful go-to for science. Science. Okay, so um, I don't even know uh, exactly how small we need to have these cubes, but we'll just keep on going here with the beat world. And we are beating the timer as we as we speak. All right. So again, we're YouTube, tw uh, Twitch, and we are also live streaming on Facebook personal profile because um, I don't want to be just talking to myself. All right. So that can go probably further down into smaller and smaller bits and pieces, but we don't have all day for that. So we'll just go with, uh, let's just keep on going here with this one here. So we'll just have cubes. It says cubes, right? So, all right, so Gundry cubes of uh, beets. Now Gundry, uh, Gund okay, so not Gundry, but Mercola, okay. Mercola. All right, some of you are not probably fans of Mercola right now, but um, he is a pioneer and I like his information. It's very good, except for his obsession about oh, polyunsaturated fat and saturated fats. So one is good, one is bad. You can guess which one he thinks is good. So, because he is uh, oop, an avid grass-fed carn carnivore, all right, nothing wrong with carnivore, if you do eat the meat, eat the bone, the skin, the um, cartilage, the organs, um, except for the eyeballs, of course, if you want to get the full nutrition, not just your ground beef or your, what is that called now, um, muscle. We know about muscles and physical therapy, and you're eating muscle most of the time. So we don't just want to eat muscle because of the, oh, I forgot the, what is that called now? If you wanted to put that in the chat, you can. I can't see my Facebook chat. It's too far from me right now. But um, you can uh, look at Asprey's, Asprey's book, the latest one on Fast This Way. I believe that one is the one that talks about the meat part. Okay, I'll have to remember that later. All right, so not too bad, not too bad. We got we got to almost a, a cup with the first beat. So okay, so if 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 if, we, if it's going well, we have to probably maybe get another beat. Ah, I could do it. It's almost maybe one and a half. So I think we'll be successful with maybe three. All right, so we might call in the forces for that. We still have the mystery flower that's defrosting, and we might have to um, luck out with that. This is my favorite knife. Um, not my favorite position, squatted down. I look like a munchkin. I'm sitting on a stool, by the way. If you think that veganism has also shrunk me uh, tremendously, uh, it's not that. Now, water is very important for the for the uh, talking head. So that will be coming here in a moment once I get to that hopefully four cup mark with the beats. So, all right. All right, so we are getting a little more liberal with the cube size, I think. And that might uh, be advantageous for our uh, measuring cup. So that's two. We got one more to do, and we got only that left. So um, now remember that this is all supposed to go into a food processor. Good luck with this in the food processor, right? Um, it's too big. All right, so we'll have to probably um, go uh, less than that here in a minute. But we're doing it for the measurements. We'll grind that up even more so here in a little bit. So cubed beets. Uh, we were going to save these wonderful homegrown beets for our other show, which is going to be maybe not today, which may be good. I don't feel like doing it right now. Is 
fermenting the beets, lactobacillus, right? We know we've got to talk about that as we move on. But, um, all right, so it's, it's throwing me off now about the, the meat thing. But uh, I'll go back to gun, uh, not country, but Asprey later in my den when it comes to that. Okay, so here we go. We are moving quicker now. This one's maybe a little easier. I'm just convincing myself with the training muscle effect, of course, as a physical therapist. All right, how does what does this do with physical therapy? Well, the nitric oxide is very important. There's a nitric ice high oxid dump, oxide dump. Again, Mercola is a promoter of that by Zach Bush, MD. You can look online for that as well. All right, so we are cubing up the beets, cubing it up. There we go. Now I, I can't see that far with Facebook um, because the microphone is in the way and I have no idea. Hold on. So that would be station identification. We'll go ahead and grab the water bottle. All right, what's nice with this is that you take your local tap water. Well, not tap water, but the water that you have from your watering hole. As you're part of your society, your local community, drinking the runoff, whatever that might be from the farmlands. But hopefully that is good once you correct with your own filtration um, or boiling. So the cook has arrived. She will be joining us shortly in the background as she is the pro here, not me. All right, so here we go with the beets. We are trying to get four cups of beets, which may be successful here. Um, and there, it's a little bit better. So we, I think we're going to be successful with that, or very near success. And we have to do the. Um, we have to do the. What is it called now? The onions. All right. So does that look like it's two to you? I think it looks very close to two um so now let me see if i can find where my twitch is okay where is it at ah there it is uh, uh. Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Okay, so what we need here, we have the beets, um, we need the, we have the walnuts, we have um, onion. Okay, so the onion, we're doubling the onion, remember, and the onion is half a cup to a cup. Now, we're gonna probably go with Gundry, it's not the Creative Kitchen one here in a minute, but now that I have bee hands, I'm not gonna be successful turning the page yet, so we will look in that as we move along. All right, so here we have, um, a half a cup of chopped onions. So we're going with a whole cup of onions, one cup of onions. So we're gonna mix that together. Now I'm gonna start food processing some of these because some of them are having di have different consistencies. Uh, 
So food processors not used as often as other items in our life. So we put it up on the shelf. Okay. The food processor here. Oh, you don't have to squat. It's your height. Oop, we shouldn't do that. There we go. So here we go with the food processor. We're going to start doing the uh, walnuts. Now the problem with the food processor is going to get really messy. So it might be advantageous if we put it all together. But then it's not going to move. It's going to be stuck. So. You need for me. Let's see here. You want one cup only, right? Yes. Now we have one cup of that. So we've got this together with that. And now we're going to measure the cup of onions. We're making vegan gluten free empanadas. I couldn't find the rice flour. Oh, what kind? So. We, we don't have any. Okay, so here is the onions. We are missing uh, a little bit. Oh, maybe the rice. Uh, let's Ooh. see here. Uh, whatever helps your empanadas. So I'm going to cut a little more onions. No, this is right. This is an, a cup already. So this is almost a cup and a half. So we're going to put that later. So we're going to start food processing the uh, nuts and getting messy here with us. So let me come over here. Remember our battery was dying, so hopefully that's getting okay. charged fast. Okay, we're done with the onion already, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Now, in a moment, oops, okay, so battery is getting low, and there's no way to charge that at the same time as it's on the stand, so we might have to make shift here. We are running low on battery power. Okay, so we might take a break in a moment, and come back to you when we have this all processed and ready to go and then we put it all together. Now you already know the ingredients for most of it, but the empanada part you don't know yet, so we'll have to also come back for that. So let me do a little bit of um, what I can. Um, let's see. So we're going to opt with another style of stand. All right. Excuse the gymnastics here, but Google. So that's charging up. It's going to charge better over there. This is going to be charging here on a more mobile platform. I need another cord for this.
Okay, back to the empanada. Now, we're going to use the food processor. Let me get this one charging. There we go. Now, over here is the empanada mix. Can you say hello to the camera? Hello. So what the cup? There we go. So, so she's combining a few of these. So, how much did you put so far? A half cup of glutinous rice flour. Okay, root a rice half flour. Cup of coconut, coconut flour. flour. A half of half almond. Half of almond. And a half of, half of cassava. the cassava. Okay, so you're making your own version of the paleo, mm -hmm. but it's not paleo because there's rice, so we have the rice flour in there. Good. Okay. And then I need a cup of water. You need a cup of water. All right. The water's just there. It's wonderfully uh, available for you. Now it's going to be a little bit on the shaky side because I don't have my stabilizer right now. It is the steady hand. All right, so the steady hand now is working, hopefully, well. So here we are with here. We got so far the coconut flour, the cassava flour, the um, rice flour, and almond. We did we the almond yet? Yes. Almond flour. Okay, we have. We should have like a half, a half, a half, a half. And we're using for the oil. We're using rice. our rice brand oil. You can also use avocado oil if you wanted to try that as well. It's almost three-fourths. Okay, so she's got about three-fourths of a cup of the oil. All right. And I need a... Now this is our own kind of mix here. We've experimented a few times with this and um, we've been successful sometimes and we have been not so successful at other times, so. Can have one fourth cup of water or sugar, organic sugar. Okay, so one fourth cup of organic sugar. And uh, for those of you who are, so no, that doesn't look like that's keto at all. So uh, we do have some sugar that's in there. So, now, you, optional. that's that's optional to put that in there, and, and we I use this a very pinch of salt and a pinch of sea salt. All right. So our 
paleo and our keto friends may be cringing for the sugar, but uh, we have that in there. And this is, how much sugar was it? One fourth. A one fourth of a cup. So to confirm, we have that. Now, baking sometimes is hard without eggs, right? Yes. Very hard. We so, or sugar. Okay. So, um, we do have also, in a moment, we'll be using the egg topping. And we are quickly running out of juice here. So, um, all right. So, she's working on that. And I will be working over here again for the food processing. So, we'll be flipping back and forth. With that, once I clean the water, it's all now all over the place. Okay. Okay. So while I'm doing that, maybe um, we'll get the charging going. And we might flip the screen kind of from this angle to that angle. All right, so this is kind of a far away view of our wild looking kitchen at this point. So one of the key ingredients might be the rice flour that's on there. Now, I think we are back in action. Good. Everything's charging and we are still live. Good. All right, so this is the other end of the spectrum. Now we have to continue on over here. It might be a little darker in this corner. So we're doing the food processing right now of the walnuts. Now something just flew past, I'm not sure what it was, but... Now we don't want it too fine. Walnut meal, which looks like it's becoming all right. So we are trying to do that. There are a few bigger chunks in there, and that might be good to kind of hold the consistency together. Uh, let's see here. And there's a fly. Alright, so that is our first batch of processed walnuts. We're going now for our second cup. Remember, we have four cups here to work on. Alright, 
might be more efficient now as we move along again finding the bigger chunks that are left over and doing a little bit more processing on that <clears throat> Now, you know, there's an argument of which nut is the best, right? So walnut has some positives and negatives. It's probably not the highest. It's a gun, one of Gundry's choices, walnuts. Okay. He is scared of cashews, kind of demonizes cashews because they, you know, he says they're poisonous, which has a poisonous part on it, I guess, um, if you look at it on the tree. But any tree nut uh, might be a problem for some people. So another alternative for nuts, which has a high omega-3, are uh, Sacha Inchi. And we have that somewhere on the shelf. I don't have that um, available in the nut form at this point. But, um, this is a choice here, but you don't want to be using that in your empanada because that's very expensive. Remember we have two fold going on. We have on the other end of the spectrum here is the I'm making the filling and um, and she is making the outer covering of the empanada. All right, I've on cup three. Okay. And there are some nice big wild looking chunks in here that we need to probably continue to fine, refine. But it's not looking too bad. Now I've, I've, I've put this together before all together and it just does not work on the food processor very well. Alright, okay, right. let's see here, now, we are on the, on the last cup, we are on the last cup, but we, we want to have some chunks in there. We don't want to, you know, have a puree. A puree would be interesting as a, a filling, but it ends up being a little bit kind of more smoother than, you know, chunky, I guess, but uh, we'll make this one a little more chunky, maybe. How's it going over there with the covering. We have a, 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 a thumbs up there. Okay, good, good, good. We're working on that still. That's kind of a wild uh, corner there. That's unprepared corner. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there she was. Okay. Now, where are we at? We're looking at the beets. Now, how are we going to do, how are we going to be successful with finally doing the beets oh my so the beets are going to be a different story going to be like beet juice here we're going to be careful so we're doing the beets here at a couple at a time remember we have four cups of beets here and all of them how about your mushroom? oh yes we have to do the mushroom and how much mushrooms are we supposed to have um, again if you look at this we've got going on here two heaping cups chopped mushrooms or two big portobello mushrooms so two cups four cups of four cups of mushrooms so let's try this beat Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I think I'm going with. The, oh, there's the fly. So. So. Ooh my. All right. Now we will fish out the bigger chunks. Maybe at the end, we will continue on with our second cup of beets. Again, there's a fly in the bucket somewhere that uh, is unwanted as a guest in the home. So what's nice about a blender is that you can kind of direct that, but the problem with the blender is I'll get all stuck on the bottom. Fly likes it. Definitely enjoying the show there. All right, so that is our second cup, which ends up being quite interesting. If you ever know how beets look like, they're red. <laughs> all right. All right. Are you doing the same mixture for all of it? All right. So sometimes we have a version that's grain free without the rice, but this is going to probably putting the rice in all of them. Again, if you are more of a, a Furman fan, uh, Furman, Dr. Furman, Foreman, uh, you might like to use the day sugar. because you might as well get the minerals you need from the vitamins and minerals from the date sugar. Now beets enough is, this is gonna be enough sugar with the beets itself. So um, again, that's why the fermented beets are maybe even better, but we don't have time for that right now. We're going to fresh beets. All right, here goes the fly again, and there it is. All right, so whenever you have a fly around you, you wonder if you're harboring evil thoughts, and uh, there you go. Shift style churning here. And we do have some big, large chunks still left in this. Not quite sure how successful we were. And um, I would show you the picture, but it would be a little embarrassing, I think, at this point. So um, we're going to fish out probably another cup and a half worth of unprocessed beets here that need some work. All right, so we're going to see what we can do there. We don't want beet juice, but we don't want it to have too chunky to the point where it's not edible with your teeth. I think my suggestion for this would probably just be shredded beets <laughs> um, for the beet part because that is not working. Oh, oh. Can't churn it because it does, it just wants to use, utilize the ones that are on the bottom and they just make them too fine. Mm -hmm. 
See if you had it in a blender, then you can kind of push them around, but then the blender would be too too smooth. It'd be a smoothie instead. Alright, so at least we're having it separate. We don't have it all together. So as it's separated, now this bottom piece here is going to quickly become our memory shield there because of its redness here soon. So I think we have come to an impasse with the beet processor. So Gundry was not, he must have a nice food processor and I have a cheap one. Alright, okay. So, let's go back to the empanada uh, outer covering here. She will be doing that while I figure out what I'm going to do with these here. Uh, the mushroom, no. It's supposed to be four cups of mushroom. I have to still, yeah, I still have to do that. Yeah, that has to also be in here too. Just slightly processed. So I think the answer to this is the chopping board um, for the rest, because it is not going to cooperate here, I don't think. I need a food processor that I can turn it around, and this doesn't work, but it gives it all after me. Little narration. You good? Have anything to share about your flower there? Smells delicious. Good. All right. So that was a bust. So to the chopping board we go, I guess. So there'll be what we call diced beets in here instead of food processed beets. What's nice about this is that We can have this frozen, and this becomes our lunch. Throw in a bag. For lunch. Just put it in the bag for lunch, and there you go. You have it on the tip as a picnic item, and you have your. Um, you can use the patty. Um, put in the burger on a nice picnic on the beach. If you are so inclined to go there. And I think we'll just go 
all of this on this pipetting board. There we go. Okay, so she's going to play with the mushroom, and I am, I am working on this beet pile here. And, um, and this is your knife. That's why I'm not having oh, as yes, much success. Oh yes, I like that knife. Where's my knife at? I was using it as a hammer a while ago. Oh, oh yes. There it is. She likes her knife. My knife. That's why you should have more than one knife. And if you're like my brother-in-law, he has probably tons of knives and sharpens them every day or whatever he does with that. So this is our carrot stew here. It looks like, but it's actually the inside of our empanada here for our patties. Again, these are the gunny version. Boom. Now we've got that cord that's really close to me here. It's not plugged in, so don't be afraid of that. I think for Christmas we're going to get a nice food processor. Hmm. This is not as glorious or glamorous. What was that? Now, she's going to be working on the mushrooms. We, again, are at a four cups of mushrooms chopped. And, again, those can also be food processed. How finely chopped? Uh, if we put it in the processor, it will be... No, 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 I mean... Uh... It's going to be the inside of the burger. So there's a few chunks in here that are a little more hardier than others. It is nice and finely red. This has been grown in the garden for months now and now is hopefully going to have a, a home and an empanada and will be part of a meal and it's a root. Try this again. We might even mix it with our walnuts in a minute. We're going to manually mix that up. And this is quite an interesting endeavor. This is the final version for these, so we tried our best. Now we are in training mode, it looks like here, and we will get this perfected as the years go by, I think. <laughs> Food processor of better choice would be good. Now, 
what would have been worse if we had it all together. So this is actually more successful doing it separate here. I'm going to be brave and go for the whole slot, the whole lot, the whole shebang as we finally come to the end of our beat adventure. Saturated now with beet juice or beet particles. <laughs> All right, that was with a little fury there. there. Alright, so I don't think it's quite beet juice, but it's got some nice chunks in there, um, which will make a hearty empanada crunch. Alright, so we are going to use the hands here for the rest of that. We've got the walnuts that we have now. Add to this, or we will add it to the walnuts. All right. So when we add it to the walnuts, it doesn't look as bad as, as I thought it would. So now we've got that going on there, and uh, lo and behold, we have. Our meal. Now we have to put the mushroom in here in a minute. Uh, oh, and I'm not. Uh huh. I have to put that also in the food processor. Oh, All right. So we've got to have a bigger bowl according to the, the cook, the chef, and um, she will be getting that here and saving my skin from this potential calamity here. All right, so not so bad, not so bad. All right, so um, I will be making a separate mixture for the mushrooms and onions, okay? So those who are fond of mushroom and onion pizza, that would be, that would be delicious. So that's not looking too bad, is it? All right. Okay. Now. We okay. So we will make now our next stop. Oil is good for the hands if you can find the oil. I'm going to use this here. Um, I have a, so, we will now use the mushrooms. The mushrooms look as big as our chunks of beets that are still left. So, we are going with the four cups of mushrooms. We're going to use maybe two at a time in here because we can just stuff that in there, try to save some time. Again, sorry for the mic. We don't have a mic, but it's not outdoors, but it is beside my fan there. So, you might be hearing the fan. as a background noise, maybe some music next time. I have to be my own for Twitch. Oh, okay, 
So mush mushrooms will be mushy. Mm -hmm. So that was our first trial. Let me just do one more since we've already. We'll do the onions here in a minute too. So it should be more uh, consistency of processed, but we don't have a good food processor at all. The, 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 the verdict is it is absolutely Actually works out good. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We, we'll mix it together and then we'll be good with the bigger ones. So that you have any more? So she's gonna fill that one up while I contemplate here the onions. That you measured it before you put it in there. Okay. So let's just see how much mushroom we have. Four cups. That's already probably already a cup and a half. Uh, two, and two and a half cups. So that's good. So we will leave that be. We'll do one more here. Are oh, you going for the whole thing? All right, so going for the whole thing. Not too bad. That's good. All right. Waiting for the last couple of mushrooms to come as we churn this last mixture. Let's leave. found an alternative to the food processor dilemma there. We would just shake it as if you're interested in music. Shake it off. Alright, so that's not too bad. Okay, so while she's doing that last un um, mixture there of Mushrooms, I'm finishing up here with the onions. The onion. All right. Try not to have my head cut off this broadcast, but so you can see what I'm doing. there. Now, that was almost too successful, that one. So maybe once we put it all together, it will be the 
So we're going to add down the walnut and the uh, beet part here. And we will now mix this together. And actually it looks not too bad. The onions, we probably did too much of that. All right, we we're too vigorous with the onions. Now, with the last mushroom part, we might just make that straight in to make the consistency of this a little bit more. So we can throw now in the other spices, the parsley, the pepper, and the paprika together with that. Together now, as my eyes are tearing from the onion food processor liquid that I made. Okay, so I want to just add a little more onion, maybe. Okay, no, no, that's okay. Now, there was a clove of garlic, I think, that was missing the four cloves of garlic, so that's right over there. So maybe we'll keep that. That's probably good, that's probably good. Alright. Okay, so what's good with kitchen etiquette? It's a harmonious working together, which sometimes does not work. All right. So she's opt to just throw that in there, and I've opt to make mushroom stew with mine. So hopefully that will work together now, and now we're only missing Hinnan, Hinnan. We're missing now the garlic, and I think our other screen just disappeared, so we don't know what the next choice is here, but we'll get that back in line. Not too bad. I think the beets, the way they were, kind of makes it work out okay. Now, we have gone to the point of no return. We're trying to keep this nice and clean. Um, everything now is topsy-turvy and is more like a real kitchen, not the homorama kitchen that you see when you tour the house at the end of its buying, um, selling season there. Okay. Okay. So now, I'm going to keep my hands like that, but we need to have the garlic in here, which is four cloves of garlic, and I think I've prepared that already. Oh, it's right here. Oh, I already... All right, so we have extra garlic, but you won't put that in there, we'll just put hers. And if you can see the hands, they are not greatest. I'd rather have bare hands than vinyl gloves at this point, but that's another story for the phthalates. Okay. I just show it, that's okay. Yeah, whatever you want to put in there, like an onion. Okay, so that's coming, and let's go back to the screen, which is going to be see if I continue to be on my, there it is, okay, so we will see if, oops, okay, that finger does not work on this touch screen, okay, full glove of garlic, 
shop. All right, there it is. There. So we've got the Arlet, the, okay, the coat, coat, okay, there we go. We got everything here so far. Everything looks good. Salt, they put it on Now we have the paprika there. salt. Okay, so now, what was that? All right, so I, that's, that's it, that's it. Actually, that might be, let's see, the basil has to be, um, one bunch of basil, so two bunches of basil. Whatever that means. Said one bunch. All right, so she's gonna save me here from that by I'm gonna don't put it in there. I have to see the, the timing for that. So I'm gonna rinse this here, kind of I like a raccoon. All right, so we will summarize here at the end of the show two hours later, so that's why we're on Twitch, so we can be endlessly streaming and YouTube and whoever wants to view a two hour video or whatever on Facebook, I guess, but good luck with that. Okay, just the passers, passer buyers is all we want, passer buyers, don't watch the whole thing. All right, so the hands are much better now, I'm happier with that. Now, I think I'm able to now turn now to uh, the Gundries. I don't even know if Mrs. Gundry, she never see Mrs. Gundry. It's always Mr. Dr. Gundry. Mrs. Gundry never shows up in the videos. So maybe she, she, she's, she's left him, I don't know. Okay. Transfer this mixture, mission go and stir in the basil with the remaining fourth of a cup of onions. Oh, so I already put the whole batch of onions in there. Um, but how much was that? Was it a cup that we put in there? But that ended up being a small amount. But is that the whole onion? No, I have half an onion. Half an onion. You want to put some more? Okay. That will not be so uh, whatever, uh, liquidy. Okay. Okay. So we got a fourth of a cup. Yet. We could just put a fourth of a cup of the onion left. And then in the basil, and the basil should be um, a half a cup finely chopped fresh basil. Yeah. A cup that looks like it's a cup. That's what we need. So we'll add that. Grease your hands with olive oil and knead the mixture to fully combine the ingredients. Um, I already did that without oil on a sheet of wax paper. Form it into a patty, and there you go. You can use a coffee mug or low ball glass to shape the patties if you wish. Use, okay, heat on a large skillet or medium high heat. Pour in three tablespoons of olive or avocado oil. Add the patties cooking for four to five minutes per side. Nicely brown to serve. Place each patty on a lettuce leaf. Now we're using the empanada. We're putting it in the empanada instead of making it a burger. Burger. And the song, Cheeseburgers in Paradox, but they call it vegan burgers in paradise ha huh. which is probably more like it okay then you have basil okay so here is basil and a little more onion to boot and a nut adulterate that with the beet mixture here we are getting very close to um, the end of this Portion, and maybe my battery's charged up for now the, um, let's see, 30%. Ah, so much for fast charging, I guess. It's because we're live streaming. Okay. Yeah, finally chopped onions. Finally chopped onions are coming that are not liquefied by the food processor, which was maybe a little bit too much. So that may be balanced out because the beets were, like, like you, you, you saw earlier, were, were, were somewhat of a challenge to use with the food processor. And now, ooh, that fan makes me feel like we're in Thailand. Okay. 
Now, this is definitely not Thai. Um, nothing, in fact, has anything to do with Thai, except for maybe the coconut flour and the rice flour. Ah, we got the Thai basil in there. So we have the Thai basil in there, because remember, it's just Tony Thai's it's with the Tanita's vegan kitchen, it's a Thai vegan kitchen, because she cooks fish and um, eggs, so she doesn't have the vegan part, we just call it vegan kitchen, Tanita's vegan kitchen, or Tanita's Thai kitchen, maybe that's even better. So, with those hands that are oil or greased up, we can now put this mixture in the empanada wraps. All right. So this is. Let's see here. Hold on. Hold on. This is clean up the table first. Okay. 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 Now, the table is being cleaned as we speak, because that will be our next destination. I will just take whatever scraps we have left to add to this mixture, and I feel like we are missing a big piece of something in here, and maybe that is should be determined in a moment. Okay. All right, so... Okay, so now let's head to the table. We're heading to the table, right? So uh, we will turn around the screen and, ooh, that looks so much better. Um, and we can't zoom that in very well. Ah, there we go. Guess we could a little bit. There. So much for Google. All right. So again, this mixture here that we put, we can't see ourselves. I need the tray and the Alright, so I think we are charged enough for one thing and the other. So we will see if we can get back to more stabilized, not civilized, but stabilized in our Good, good. Oops. Uh, maybe it is upside down. I don't know. Okay. Let's see if I made it successful. Phone camera. Phone camera from here. There we go. Sorry for the ride there. All right, here we go. Not bad, not bad, okay. Okay, put the head there. All right, so. Now. So this is what we have so far. We have our mix. We have our dough balls, so we're going to uh, now see if we can smash those out with our added sugar. We only put a fourth of sugar, so but we have two batches there, so a half a cup of sugar, organic, crystallized, what was that? Sugar, brown sugar. Okay, now date sugar probably would have been okay, but the consistency would not probably be good because we needed to have some substance 
Okay, so here we are. Hmm? Tree. What was what about the tree? The tree the right there. Yeah, underneath. Oh, Alright. So we need to get the cookie sheets out. So we're gonna make the tray. All right, so let me get, I think we have some leftovers in here. Okay, okay, okay. Aha! Yeah, no, that's not it. Uh, all right, so there's a difference between wax paper and parchment paper. And the one that we need more of, 75. Oh, this one. Where's, where's the other one? Uh, where? This one. We have the big one. Oh, we no, 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 no. Here, 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 right here. Right here. This is wax paper, but we need parchment paper. Because the wax will, 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 we cannot do it. Yeah, this wax too. Alright, so we should have it here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Aha! Even the, 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 um, what do you call that? The gimbal rod was excited. It turned right to it, the parchment paper. Okay, again, we don't want to show the version, but this is the parchment paper. So here we go with that. We might even need more than that, but, uh, Parchment paper is less. Oh. oh, we do need more than that. There was only a few pieces left on that. Okay, here we go. Parchment paper. Ooh, we got a whole bunch. Have it on sale on Sprouts. Oh, she's got some more. Oh, maybe those are the sheets that we have already cut. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Now, where is our... <clears throat> Looking for our... Okay, here it is. Okay, so uh, let's just see what uh, cre in Creative in My Kitchen says. All right, now she's got something there. Okay, all right, so... Okay, instructions. Heat oven. Okay, we are definitely not ready for the oven yet. Oh, well, maybe we are. We'll have to see. So it says here, uh, alternately you can cook the patties in the pan. It's pretty much the same thing. I prefer the oven, less mess. Make the patties, mix all the ingredients in the food process into a mint, but still have a lot of, but still have a bit of texture, a little bit of texture. Okay, hopefully we have that little bit of texture left. Gonna be a better view from above and it says here form the patties and add to a sheet pan and cook in the oven for 20 minutes uh, for the patties now we're gonna put, just put in an empanada so there we go prepare the portobello mushrooms and put them in a sheet pan add olive and oil and it says and cook them in the oven in the same time with the patties about 20 minutes so she she does she doesn't add the the mushrooms here hold on one for each burger for stacking. Okay, so that's the stacking part. But the other part of it, there was the chopped mushrooms. So there was the chopped mushrooms, and then there is the, the ones for the stacking. All right. Meanwhile, prepare the sauce for mixing all the ingredients. When the patties and the mushrooms are ready, to start assembling the burger, and raise the oven to temperature 450. Uh, start with a slice of mushroom, then add the lettuce, and there you go. Okay. Serve with sweet potato fries or wedges. So sweet potato again, that is a resistant starch, and that's also good as a prebiotic for your butyrate, and um, that would be interesting too. What is that? Working? Okay. So again, with the flour, we have frustration again because we don't have the right mixture. We're missing the other flour, I think, as well. 
So, so we will be putting. Oh yeah, hold on. I think that makes it good. Okay, so the idea here is that we are needing it to be mixed again. So there needs to be some other additional flour that is put in there and looks like it's not working the way we should. Now we don't have, yeah, that is not. All right, so all this effort so far going to be in haste and waste if we don't have the right consistency for the flour. So what are you going to put in? Rice or yeah. coconut? Coconut and rice. Okay, so let's just see. Um, I had a couple of balls of extra. Hmm, where is it? I had it. Okay, here they are. Ooh, that's nice and soft in there. Oh, it is. Uh, this one is this. So maybe she can add these. I'm going to put this one in there. This one is a nice harder one. One's rice and one's um, soy. That one's good. Mm. This one's maybe hard, but this one's still hard. I think this one. I'm going to add more water and then. Ooh, that looks good. So some homemade rice flour right there. Look at that. It is kind of oozing, as you can see right there. All right. Sticky rice flour. Sticky rice. Sticky rice flour. Okay, so we're trying to salvage uh, this scenario for the rest of them, so we're adding uh, some additional stuff. So... Again, experimental mode or training mode or what we call practice mode or uh, Hail Mary mode. Maybe that's another way to say it too um, as we do that. Yeah, yeah. We're missing the regular flour, which is wheat. And wheat is um, sticky. It's got the gluten, right? Gluten. Um, so these are gluten-free. Okay, so uh, I will... Join her in a minute on that end. So let's see here if we can find anything else on this website without messing the screen up more with the hands that the way they are. All right. So we've gone to the process. And we might have to get the um, just egg out. I think we'll do that next. <clears throat> now, according to Mick the Vegan, he likes the just egg, which he's working on his masters, I believe, right now. Still gets time to broadcast. I haven't seen this broadcast lately, but um, so we use the just egg. I'm not going to advertise it by showing it on the screen, but the ingredients, it's got the mung bean. So we've got the mung bean that is part of that. All right. All right, so we're seeing if this is going to be successful. Then you want to turn on the oven ready for it? Okay. All right. So we're going to turn the oven on and get the brush, he said. The bowl and the brush. But which, which bowl? Small bowl for the egg. Small bowl for the egg. Okay. Small bowl for the egg. And the brush. Again, it's not as nice as the regular egg for the covering, but it will do. Yeah, better. All right, so so far it's better with the added sticky rice and the homemade um, flour from so rice uh, milk that we used from Gourmet Kitchen, the gourmet, um, the gourmet vegetarian kitchen I believe 
Um, that's another wonderful website that we will share with you in the future for, for that. Now, there will be a little bit of vibration here because she's using that right now, but let me just have my hands free for a moment. There we go. Now, the gimbal is, looks like it's a little crooked there on that. Hmm. Okay. So over here, she's pressing right now on our homemade tortilla maker. And she is putting that in there. And what are we seeing here? Ah, here we go. So she's making that. All right, so either the table, I don't know what's going on. This looks like we're offset just a little bit. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll make shift with that. There we go. Well, it won't work either because the gimbal's just thinking that. Okay, so we're crooked a little bit. All right, so I'm going to just kind of like, so if we look down, we see here a better, yes. Oh, okay, I'm not supposed to touch it. Okay, all right, so it is fragile at this point. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take the just, um, or egg replacement, we'll just call it. And we gotta make sure that it's shake, shooken, or what's the word? Shaken, sh sh shaken. And I'm shaking the whole table, or she's shaking the whole table, I don't know what. And the gimbal is supposed to help with that, right? All right. So make sure you read the expiration dates before you buy. Now, this is a very poor design here. Ooh, this one's actually better. So we're not pouring this over that, no. We are putting it in a little bowl. Ooh. <laughs> that was uh, um, mindless there. So I will try to push that back in and we will use only a small portion of that. Maybe that is more like it. All right, so this will be our covering. This is the gel, um, gel
kill a fire. I don't know what you call it. Alright. Alright, so we will put this over the top. And it's literally over the top. With this. So a generous portion. Oop, I should have probably pushed that a little together there. Generous portion uh, dab, I guess, of that for it's supposed to make it brownish on the top when you're uh, caramelizing or, or, or creating that oxidative stress of okay, it, um, or what do you call, um, oops, some sort of like, oh, <laughs> from the inside. Oh, okay. I was like, where was that from? That was actually on the inside, very scary. Okay, so here we go with this. The, uh, let's see if I can remember now. This one here. I'm trying to remember now. What was I trying to say there? The I don't know about that one. Mallard. Malliard reaction. There we go. Uh, another word is acrylamides. That sounds scarier. I don't want to create too many acrylamides. That's right. Look at that one. That one's beautiful. All right, so. What's the temperature we put on there? 350. 350, okay. So we're gonna do 350 for the oven. We've tried it at lower temperatures, which was a failure. I don't know, it was okay, but it takes all day. All right. I prefer the 245, but that will not probably make it. All right, look at that. So as I continue on with that, it's getting so exciting, I have to take a pause for turning on the oven in 105 degree weather in a house that's probably 100. Okay, so I can either leave you here and watch the rest of the empanada mixture creation there, maybe a combination of this and that. Um, there you go, I think that might be good. Skillet out of the oven. There we go. All right, so what was that? It's a lemon. I need a new one. New tree. Who is looking even better? Look at that. So, as um, I'll move this away.
doing this on my lap. And we're putting the topping on here, the whatever this is, just replacement egg, we'll call it. It's not replacement egg, it is actually mung bean topping. Mung bean. And another in there is probably not Gundry's favorite as well as probably the canola oil. I guess that would be more uh, Dr. Mercola's beef is canola oil, but even Gundry probably too. But sometimes it's a challenge. All right, now that I've spilled it half on the parchment paper, this is how it looks like prior to getting in the oven. Not the most beautiful the first few, but here is how it looks. We'll see how it looks like afterwards. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. Ooh, how much do you have so much of that? And we're already done with the the mixture? No, we're Oh, you guys have? Oh, okay. Give some more. Oh boy, we just burned off all our batter already. So we will go back probably in a moment to... Ooh, look at that. So we're trying this on Twitch. Uh, see how it goes. But, um, since my music is for myself, mostly, I guess. All right, here we go. So maybe we need more just mung replacement egg, we'll call it. I guess I can try to close it off. Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, I don't know how successful that is, but... Well, sometimes when it's wet, it's no good. That's why I have to put and then put it in the oven right away. Oh okay, yeah, that's good. So... Yeah, I think it's better just to keep it cracked because the more I play with it, the more it just gets fantasized. Oh, we got another round there. That's good. We got a lot of stuff going on there. We got this going on there. We got that going on. And the day is getting closer to the end. Oh, what's supposed to be 25 minutes for Gundry and create, what was it, create, create, create in my kitchen, whatever, versions, 40 minutes. We are now on two and a half hours. Okay, so we are still learning, burgeoning. That's why I haven't been on for a whole year trying to figure out what I'm doing here with this. All right. So, so we are adding, what is that? Rice. More rice flour. This one is no doubt no good. I can't do that one. This one is, uh, I don't know what this is. Soy, I think. No, 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 this might be rice too. Maybe 
definitely have to put less almond because almond is yeah, no, less no, 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 yeah, no, no. I have to put less almond. Come on. All right, so we are, oops. There we go. Let me see if we can do this here. All right, so we are ready to put this in the oven. Empanada, which is on its journey still. We are the journey makers. And coming with the next one. Rush to put it in. Now let's see. the gimbal because the gimbal's crooked and we're going back to our standby tripod and we're gonna try to make this a little smaller if we can All right. I guess I'm not in the view there we go wonderful alright so again Bird's eye view, much better. Alright. Great. Alright, so we are still working on the empanadas. Alright, so let's see if we can uh, make it over there. There we go, as we're charging as best we can.
This is going to go in the second tier. And every little push ends up making a crack. So yeah, go, go. Okay, that's just the way it is. All right, here we are. Look at that. This is batch number two. And we got many batches to go, possibly. We'll have to see how uh, much far we have. And there you go. The cleaning is going to be a chore. <laughs> and that will be left to the unwatched version. Alright. Maybe I'll start now as I continue here. Now, it's just the phone with itself. There it is. No, no, it's the um, fixing the gimbal. Ah. You want me to make one more? 
this one. This one. Maybe this one's the soil. See, this one's the soil, I think. It's too, too bushy now. But this one is also soil, I think. No, this one's the fair. This one's the fair. But this one here is. Maybe this one's coming too. Oh, yeah. What do you think, please? I don't know. You know, you want it. This one is, this one's rice, I think. I don't know how long it is. Oh, no, it's okay. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, this one's, this one is, this one's soil. It's too, too pushy now. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, that's You know, it's like a potato soup. Oh! <laughs> Gonna put potato soup in the empanada. <laughs> Gonna be fun. <laughs> so, where is it? All right, so the mystery flower ball that we had a while ago ends up being potato soup. There's some chunks of potato. We had another one there is cassava. So I think the other one might be soy, the one that we put in there, but the other one that we put in there, uh, uh, haven't put in there, is the brown rice, which I'm trying to convince her to use that, but we'll have to see that happens. That might actually be the best batch, right? <laughs> and um, so uh, soy again is demonized by paleo, keto probably too, Gundry, um, as well as um, Asprey, Let's see. and even Karazian. But I think Gundry was okay with it if you have it in a fermentation form. So you can have your tofu would be more like misu and it would be uh, natto, which I haven't found. Um, and then we do our own as we do soy yogurt and also other versions of soy that we use, uh, like a cultured tofu that we use. And we make that, I make that as well. And that is also from, uh, I think it's the Gourmet ve ve uh, Vegetarian Kitchen. The recipe is there. So um, there's been some studies. There are more epidemiological studies that show, um, especially with Chinese, you know, they're using soy milk and they're also using tofu as uh, still part of a good diet. All right, so you don't want to have excess like some of those studies show that end up having more feminization, I guess, what they say. But um, I think it uh, can be used in moderation like anything. And it has the benefits with the isoflavones and um, the protein. All right, so uh, we are finishing up the last batch. Uh, we can always use the last batch for Patties, if you wanted to. 
Do you want to have one more trade? We don't have one trade. It's a small trade. Do you want to make that a pattern instead, or do you want to make another one for another? That's what we're missing. Oh, that's why. Yeah, the all purpose is the one that we're missing. Mm. So. Oh, okay, the all purpose. Yeah. Yes, that's what it is. That's what you're missing. Yeah, because the paleo is, that's the one that actually helps the most. Mm -hmm. But it has the rice flour. Yeah, I will make a small bag. mumbling over here about what we missed with the flour is the organic all-purpose flour and we can also make that with what we have the other ones to finish and while we're doing that so let me find the uh, organic all-purpose oops Organic, all purpose. Come on, Spiller. Purpose flour. That's what we're missing to make it more decent here, to make it firm, since we're trying to do vegan here. Um, I don't think we used that. Maybe this one here, yeah. All right, so let's see what the ingredients of this is, and we'll see if we can make the last batch. No, that's not it either. It has to be gluten-free. Yes, it's gluten-free. It's just called gluten-free, all-purpose gluten-free. Gluten-free. There we go. Yeah, that's what we're missing. That's it right there. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's, that's it. Here's the blue one. All right, so we'll let it read that. So it has organic rice flour, organic brown rice flour, the one that I have right there, which you don't want to put in there, organic tapioca flour, which is the cassava, organic millet flour. We don't have that, but we have millet. But And, and organic in, inulin and xanthan gum. So maybe that gum is the thing that we're missing. 
All right, so that is what we need, and let's look at the uh, let's look at the carb content. Right here is zero, so I don't know what to do with that. that that's not right. Um, looks like they missing that on the website. It says here most accurate information is always on the label on the actual product. We periodically update our labels based on new nutrition analysis. The website does not necessarily get updated at the same time, so there you go. So that's what we're missing. Now we could have used, we could have used, if you wanted to. Are you done already with the flour? Yes. Okay, so we do have another one that is, that, that fell to the floor. And where is it? What, over here? No, it's, Did you need? I'll show you. Did you use this arrow root at all? Yeah. Did you use the arrow root? Uh -huh. I Why is it over here? I just need it back. Oh, this arrow root? Okay. Yeah. So, all right, so I'm going to go on the search. Success. A great success. Yeah. All can be looking free. All purpose power. I just want to go for it. So So the thing that I dropped it's not that one. It's Maybe not the one that. Ah, here, no, no, that's not it. There it is. Ha ha. What's that? Hmm? Pancake and waffle mix. That could have been all right too. Oh. Gluten free. It's got the blue. So now what's on this is. Rice flour potatoes. So this one has potato though. Um, let's see here. Otherwise, it does have corn. Uh, but it's organic. Not the best corn flour. So this would be something that I would prefer not to have. That mom. Uh, this, but that's okay. Thank you, mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could have used that in the jiffy. That would have been good, but um, okay. So we're looking and seeing if these are cooked yet. Now some of them are busting open with flavor, but not on purpose. All right. So now some of them that are doing better than others. Uh, yeah, some of them are doing way better than others. Other ones, some other ones are just going to be um, good to eat. I'll just say. Not perfect, at least because we are missing the. Um, I think it's got over there. Oh, where is it? Got the, here it is. There, the all purpose flour. All right. So, again, we talked about what the ingredients were. We could have made shift, make shift with it. We did, we kind of, we kind of make shift with it because it said. All we're missing in there is the brown rice flour, um, tapioca, tapioca, millet. Not too bad. Not too bad. We didn't miss too much of that. But And it looks like my nice brown rice one's going to go by the wayside. And I'm going to have to, maybe I'll make my own with it. We'll see if they go, wow, this works out really good. Can we mix it with the last one? No. Oh, I don't want to throw that away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, in, in here? Look, no. Look, look, look. Ooh, very good, very good. Where can I put it now? And uh, right there. Oh, right here. I have to put, get the parchment paper for that. See, it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. Okay. So. No. Alright, so we are bickering about the look of it because she's bragging about her other probably in all purpose probably uh, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. So those are hers. Right there. <laughs> Excuse me? Her perfected ones. That's good. And these are mine. I get to I get to crumble it in my mouth as I eat my lunch one handed at work. All right, so let's see what else can we look up as we are waiting for the first batch to finish. Let's see here, first batch to finish. Uh, good. We don't want to do the too dark because of the malleard reaction. So let's let's look at that for a second. And what do we mean by the malleard reaction? What is that? And that's the caramelization that makes it so delicious, right? Oop. So what is this? I see, I probably spelled it wrong. Here it is. Malillard. Maillard. 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 The most delicious chemical reaction in the world. Look at that. Um, ooh, ooh, that's what hers is going to look like. Um, let's see. A chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars that give brown food its distinct flavor. Ah. Okay. So let's look at. Um, hmm. Okay, who's going to make that demonized here? I would say, um, let's go with just uh, acrylamides. Let's just go with that. Let's just add that. Acryl, uh, acryl, oop, acryl, limide. Lim, li, limide. There we go. Again, I don't even know what kind of uh, web browser we're using here, but acrylamide, there we go. We'll just use that one, acrylamide. So that'll make it. Again, you need to have some of that. But you can't get away from that completely, of course. <clears throat> uh, nature. Here we go. Your <clears throat> Wikipedia version, since we see that a lot in um, all the versions that are now there trying to debunk certain theories online. Wikipedia pause up from Facebook, YouTube, whatever. But we have on here uh, any, a possible human carcinogen can be generated by the product, byproduct of the Maillard reaction between reduced reducing sugars and amino acids, especially asper aspergine. Okay, another one is um, that we're missing here. 
is a while ago we talked about um, too much protein and Asprey talks about that. Let me see if I can find that since my internet is not working the greatest on this. Okay, now we gotta make sure that that's working out good. It looks like it's so far so good. So. All right. So in the last remaining battery life that we have, and we should summarize everything, but oh well. For however many of you right now you're starting, back with this. All right, so we're gonna look here at one of the books here. Um, let's see where we're gonna find that. Probably gonna find it with a not so clean hand. Which I don't really prefer. Let's go with um, Dave Asprey. And I don't think it's in the head. It's probably superhuman. Yeah, it's probably under this one here. So let's look and see if I can find it. So, um, protein, protein, protein. Going back to that, um, let's see here. Protein. That one, inflammation from cross-linked proteins. Hey, 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 don't be frustrated. Okay, so this one here. We will, we will have a, a, since she's whining there about that, cracking, we'll probably have to come back to that and have it as a, um, you know, replaced it with a, the, the better version with a gluten-free, all-purpose organic flour that is missing, right? Okay. So, okay, so it's not on that one. Maybe it's on the, fa in the, new, the new one fast this way. If not, then uh, I need to just memorize it, and we'll just talk about that next time. Okay, it's probably, let's see here. Um, sugar, leaving bright products. Okay, so maybe that's it. So either 95 or 132. 95, 95. Eh, that's not it. No, that's 85. 95. Okay. 95. Uh, let's see. There's also 132. Maybe we'll do it with 132 here. 132. Okay, that's not it either. Alright, I still think it's under this one here. Moment, one moment. We'll find it here in a moment. It's very important that we know this information, or I should know it. And let's go ahead here. 32, 42, and 48. 32. 32. Oh, ages. That's the other thing for the Maillard reaction. Ages. And that is... Um, chronic inflammation is associated with is also associated with an increase in cross link proteins and 48 ages. That would be um, we'll find that later off. And we're looking at. Let's see here. We'll find it 
here in a minute. This one here is 48. I will come back with that later. I will need to search that as an ant crawls with my arm. Eight. This is getting a little closer, I think. No. I'll just leave this all open for me, but let's go with the ages for a second. And that stands for So we're waiting for the empanadas basically, that's what we're doing right now. And they'll be finishing here very soon, and we'll see the final results, which she's not going to be very happy with. But uh, let's see here. Um, Advanced glycation end products. There you go, one of them. And the other one we're still in a search for. We'll find that out a little bit. All right, so with our last breath here of battery power on our third hour, we're going to check and see the results of what we've been doing for all afternoon. And it's smelling wonderful now. The malleur reaction, the acrylamides, and the advanced glycation end products are all trying to make their way forward but we're gonna stop that process here shoo, shoo, soon okay so here we go now the the first one that's on the top is not uh, in the contest and the fair so we will not um, submit that entry but the other ones are looking good and they taste wonderful and maybe by the time we're done we'll maybe have one for our Supper for tonight. Okay. All right. So these are in the waiting wing, and I need to maybe make this. You might as well put the real egg on the top of your yours. If you wanted to. Uh, we'll keep in keep in touch with this though. All right. Let's just take this off again. Handheld, looks good. Yep. to stop all the inside in that one. That's why it's like a burst. Oh, that can handle it because you have your flour on it. So. We'll see. Which 
when you eat. Thank you. That's good. Make room for me. I can put this in here. Those over there that I need to wash the hands. Oh my! Do it the whole way. Okay, just to review again the ingredients that we used. Paprika, parsley, black pepper, sea salt, cloves of garlic, walnuts, beets, onions, and what else? Basil, oh yes, mushroom. That, and mushroom. Those are some important ones that are in there. And we were waiting it. You can see they're basting in the oven as we speak. Then the flour is not as successful as we should have without the all-purpose flour, which minus is minus here. But, um, too much almond flour is not great for baking. That's the conclusion. We've learned that uh, time before. Okay. In a moment, we'll have be having a taste, a taste-a-thon, and enjoying our potato soup. putting up our flour concoctions here and um, this one here is the grain-free paleo and the other one is only uh, rice uh, the pancake one that we have in the waffle I wouldn't suggest for this if you want to get your done version So 
we stuck a little bit of Thai sticky rice flour in there as well. Anything else to wash? No, that's it. We've got the um, walnuts, organic walnuts. As we speak, How's it going? Zilla. Right. Okay, we are we are anticipating it smells wonderful in here. We're gonna have that empanada very 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 soon. Trying one of them. Again, looks are deceiving because of the way that it is. Um, not the prideful one that she used to have. And she can put all those wonderful other ingredients that we are not using today. And success looks like we get a clean kitchen once again from the disaster a while ago. Maybe we even have time for a little sip of water. Again, I'm going to go ahead and look on the screen for that one. And I just made a mess with the water again. But I will quickly clean it before she arrives. Yeah, look at that dolphin.
All right, so this one here, let's just go ahead and read this one as we're waiting. And maybe this will give light to what I was trying to find a while ago. Maybe I can find that chemical compound. Um, Ooh, looks, so good. looks so good is a comment from the chef, okay? All right, here we go. So a protein fast, I think it's in this fastest way book because it talks about protein fast. When you eat too much protein, your body becomes overwhelmed by the task of digesting it. Unlike high quality fats, which burn efficiently in your cells, your body will try to oxidize the excessive protein in your liver. This produces the majority of toxins that can decrease your performance and damage your health. Other issues with protein is how we cook it. High pro uh, high heating protein at high temperatures can cause high levels of things called advanced glycation end products, ages. These are the bad as they are they, they sound, increasing oxidative stress and inflammation, which are the root of modern diseases like cardiovascular disease and diabetes. All right. Oops. Let's see, where are we? So here are some things here, some of the bad guys, and one of them here is um, a little bit of a lag here. Okay, all these toxins are different, but they share a very few common mechanisms that can derail your health and performance. They are damaged to they they are they all damage your mitochondria and deplete your glucathione levels. Your mitochondria are the power plants of your cells, and they're essential for cognitive function, maintaining muscle mass, and generally supporting in a stage of high performance. But when your mitochondria are damaged, your cells don't process oxygen as efficiently and don't metabolize fats and, or sugars as well. When your cells aren't able to process oxygen efficiently, or you don't have enough oxygen, they switch from an oxidated, oxidation to glycolysis, which is far less efficient. So. Um, this process also produces lactic acid, which places stress on your liver. This can kickstart a dangerous cycle where toxin damage your cells, which decrease liver function and impairs your ability to uh, remove toxins. These toxins deplete your body of glycophione, and, uh, which can place another stressor on your liver. And this makes the cycle even worse. Glucothione depletion also decreases your cognitive performance as you need glucothione to shield your brain from inflammatory agents and other toxins. So, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, um, brain barrier dysfunction. And then talks about breathing exercises and supplemental glucothione. So his idea is to clean up your diet, eat more fat, include a protein fast, cook your food correctly, and using high quality grass fed meat and other clean proteins and um, promoting his bulletproof diet, which um, is something that uh, you can read about. Uh -huh. All right, so there's also the positives of eating the meat, of course, and like I said earlier, it's a complete protein. It's ready, ready to go. Just pop it in your mouth, and your, well, of course, after you cook it, and uh, I'm not uh, downplaying the importance of that because we uh, know that, you know, the paleo diet uh, looks at that. Uh, of course, not the um, well, there's dirty keto, um, but um, those are some of the things that talk, that talks about that. Okay, so very shortly we're going to have a taste test, and I'm excited about this. 
because we have been waiting all afternoon for this and we're going to be uh, enjoying this scrumptious uh, treat as we progress through the week and through the weeks to come. A wonderful uh, lunch alternative to a full course meal. This is a full course meal that you eat one of these and you'll see here in a moment as we will devour at least half of one each, I think would be the best. We'll probably get the one that's our first one, which was a, a pretty much a flop when it comes to its consistency, but that's all right. Now back to the apron. Let's talk about that. Oop, is it ready to go? All right, so it's coming here. It's gonna be placed right here in the moment, and we are just creating a little bit of a, a, a landing spot for that. Think. There it is. Look at that. Wow. I'm going to actually have a, a close up of that. Sorry for the, the jiggling screen, but we have to do that because of the battery's lifespan. We didn't prepare for this today for the battery. So that one, Muman, is that one, but everything else is just cracking full of life and, and, and robustness. We're gonna probably choose this one to taste here in a moment. Now, it's always best to wait till it cools down, but uh, just for time and brevity, we might go ahead and, and have one ready to go. Okay. Now, let's see here. Sorry for the jiggling again. I'm going up. I should be going down. Got the back screen. Okay, here we go. So, mm. all right. So I'm gonna uh, get the uh, one that we had a while ago. We'll skip the protein bashing at the moment, and we'll go ahead and do the um, plant. There's the gourmet. Uh, vegetarian Kitchen, that's a wonderful website, Plant Paradox. There it is, the ultimate Plant Paradox Burger, Creative in My Kitchen is the website that we use. Please visit that site and uh, you will be, uh, you know, enthralled by its uh, information and menus, and uh, we will use this now again as we move away from the toxicity of meat, and we're looking now at the ultimate plant paradox burger, and uh, we are looking at that in an empanada, so it's the ultimate plant paradox empanada, except for a few of them. Okay. The, the next bet. The niche. Ooh, the net. Oh, that's even better. A little bit on the burnt side on one of the ends, but otherwise it's pretty good. So this one's a little better when it comes to the brownness. It looks like it's more brown because of the uh, egg uh, replacement that we put on the top, but it is looking pretty good if you look at the bottom of it. Uh, we need to make it a little bit uh, uh, more sustainable as it, uh, we want to keep it from falling apart. So this one here, I think, is I, 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 I dare pull this, but looks like the bottom is not picture perfect, but it's pretty good. All right. So this one here, after I got my water. Now, I made the mistake last time of not Now we don't have any patties. No patties this time. But we will now do our taste test of this. And we will enjoy this as we speak. This will not be edited. Don't have time to edit. 
that's why we go live stream here on the Biohacker PT. All right, so one of these days we'll have the combination. All those viewers out there want to just clamor to the website and um, or to the live stream. So here we go. This is, uh, again, not the closest version. Um, and sorry for the breakiness. This is the one that we have that's quite choppy. Oh, look at the inside. It is just uh, bursting with flavor. You, you can see that here. I wish I could, I, I could uh, you know, give you even a better, closer up view of that. Maybe I can here. There we go. Mmm. So look at the inside. This is that walnut and mushroom and the parsley and the, and the, and the um, onion and the basil like, the, like that's in there, as well as the, the, the paprika and the garlic. And uh, it is just ready to go, ready to be eaten. And I think we are going to do that right now. After we say a quick blessing of our food bless this food yes bless this food all right and the hands that prepared it of course so of course like a sandwich you just bite into it and we do it just like our um, wonderful Thai a uh, person uh, that, that uh, looks at Thai food oh and his name is um, let me plug this up while we're doing this here. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh. Let me light. Wow. Mm. Now, as I'm eating this, it's like we're at some sort of fine restaurant here, and I'm in the background with the steam, but it's just the water boiling. Vegan, gluten free empanada. Wonderful. Uh -huh. A little bit on the brown side there. We're waiting for the other ones to finish. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The warmth. Now, I put the salt in there. Well, sometimes you can put a little, like, mother. Mom, you would probably put some duck sauce with that. A little bit of duck sauce with that that would just kind of like add to the tastiness of this. And I think this would be wonderful. Okay, let me just see if I can uh, expand the screen a little bit, it's a little bit too close to, for comfort there. All right. Mm -mm. Three hours and 45 minutes ago, we started on this quest. As I unsuccessfully doffed this apron. Mm -hmm. Oh, we keep on talking about the apron, but we never really go forward with the apron and the hat. But, but the apron, it has inside material, Faraday, Faraday cloth. Mm -hmm. And what Faraday does, like a Faraday cage, all that Wi-Fi, all the microwave, all this extra radiation, keep it away from the hardened organs, yes. In addition, wonderful thing. It'll be great for a little kid to have a nice little apron with a little whatever on there, bunny or something in there, or, 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 or um, some sort of superhero, I don't know. Um, you can get one of these by 
online, I guess, or you can make your own with a Faraday cloth. All right, so that's excellent for decreasing oxidative stress of your body. We know that uh, there is the non-thermal effects of 5G, uh, again, creating oxidative stress and peroxynitrate uh, free radical production. All right. Okay, man. This is just exciting. And um, we made our own bread version. Still gluten free. Except for the last ones that we have there. Uh, we'll probably not publish this other than just this live stream. It might be just there taped for a little bit. But, um, Some other questions there, and I wanted to put that online. Now, flour isn't the best choice to eat, so that's why probably uh, Gundry doesn't put that in there. A, a Kar Karazian, Dr. Karazian wouldn't either, probably. But. But we made our own wrap. All right. Good. Now, I would say, I would probably put a little more something in there. I almost dare say soy sauce, but. I think that duck sauce would be good. Now, as we end this stream, as the other ones are still cooking, I will probably finish this off. This will be, I should not eat this all because I have the rest of my meal for this evening, but it is good. It is. So we will call it the plant paradox empanada again not using um, other than rice you don't have any corn wheat barley we can put our some of our homemade dough and the mystery dough, which was probably thrown away now, but potato soup. Huh. I mean, we were not probably probably red potatoes because that's all I'm eating right now. If I eat any potato at all, but there you go. So again, this is the biohacker physical therapies or PT doing, I don't want to say anti-inflammatory or as actually even antioxidants because there's there's benefits. There's the hormet, or, 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 hormetic effect uh, of pro-oxidants and uh, we are looking into the research just recently on, um, it'll, come back, it'll come back to my mind here in a moment, but um, Kanita's Vegan Kitchen. All right. So good night and farewell. Again, one more for the thumbnail shot. If you wanted to see that. Minus that one, we'll probably move things around here. And that is not, um, this is just brown from the just egg portion of that as well. This just now that some other versions here, a couple of burnt edges on this one, but um, this one here is still coming along. Um, some are uh, oh, it's this bottom one is is going to be bursting for all the flavor, and um, there you go. Okay, so join me. 
Uh, I'm going to probably be uh, broadcasting nightly for a little bit just to see what I'm working on and, and the, the types of things. And some of them will be, of course, shorter broadcasts than others. And um, I think we'll call it an evening. So enjoy your week, and hopefully you can uh, choose the best health you can in this uh, day and age. It's very important for our own health. All right? Good night, and until next time.